Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, Red for short. I'm going to read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration, The Unseen Cloud. I have always remembered the thrill I had in preaching in the university chapel in St. Andrews and in being told that the very pulpit in which I was to stand and be had been the pulpit of John Knox. As every day in my own classroom, I step on to the washroom, I remember the men who went before me in that New Testament classroom. A.B. Bruce, James Denny, W.M. McGregor, G.H.C. McGregor. What a company. Now, when this kind of thing happens, it has two effects. It makes one very humble. It gives one a feeling of complete astonishment that one should be walking in such a company. There is nothing like the memory of the unseen cloud to keep us humble. Do we never sometimes stop to think of the great souls who were within this church of ours, the saints, the martyrs, and the prophets who were part of it, who may be worshiped in our very town and buildings? Do we never think of the successions in which the humblest Christian walks? And do we never think of how unworthy we are of all that has gone before? To, the, to remember the unseen cloud is to be humbled to the dust. But to remember the unseen cloud is to be more than humble. It is equally to be challenged. We have entered into the labors of other men. We must so labor that other men may enter into ours. The generations are each like links in a chain, and we must surely see to it that ours is not the weak link. Memory is always a challenge. Am I listening or am I enhancing the tradition which has come down to me? Do I bring joy or sorrow to the unseen cloud as they look down? When I meet them on the other side of death, will I have to meet their eyes with pride or with shame? No man lives to himself and no man dies to himself and no man can honorably forget those who have given him what he has and in whose footsteps he walks. If I am humbled and if I am challenged by the memory of the unseen cloud, then still another thing emerges. I can only be true to them. I can only not fail them. I can only walk in their company. If I in my life have the same daily and hourly dependence on Jesus Christ that they have. The generations rise and pass away in the unending panorama of the years. But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. His arm is not shortened and his power is not grown less. His presence is still with us and it was with them, mighty to help and mighty to save. That's good. And the unseen cloud refers to that verse in Hebrews. I will, um, I will put it here. Um, but it's, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness, let us run with endurance the race set before us. I'll put the verse here. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.